the trap. Beep, bees in the trap. We're live! Hello, everybody, and welcome to MangaPod Book Club. We are a weekly podcast in which we all get together after you've read all or part of a manga and discuss it with friendship, love, and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of spoilers. I am your host, Erin of Happily Erin, and with me are my three lovely co-hosts. I'm Dodger, and up until like three seconds ago, I was listening to Bees in the Trap by Nicki Minaj. Oh, like no, bees no. in the trap, be- bees in the trap. So that's me. Hi. It's good to have you. <laughs> and now, you're right, Clank. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you. You're welcome. Bees in the trap. Be- bees in the trap. That's what we've been listening to Dodger do that for like five minutes. <laughs> just, oh, you guys, just so you know, soundcheck consisted of me watching Yokorama attempt to open his beer bottle for like two to three minutes with a spoon. At which time <laughs> Jazza came in and then Yoko decided to use a water bottle and he opened it with the water bottle and was very oh, confused. Yeah. And then Dazza made some horrible puns and was kicked yeah, out of the call. Never, you, was kicked you, out of the call. You said that <laughs> amazing puns. They were amazing no, puns. No, the one, the one where I kicked you out and then you came back and you were like, did I just get punished? That was a really good one. But, the but you, good. you still got kicked out though. Again. But then you got kicked out again. <laughs> <laughs> and Dodger's been listening to Bees in the Butt. What was it? Bees in the butt. butt. <laughs> like bees in the butt. Be- bees, bees in the, the butt. butt. Like bees in the butt. So Look, I figure Why the it, it kind of sounds like Beals. You know, like Beals above. Like Beals in the bub. Beals in the bub. Like Beals in the bub. Doesn't feel like a parody song. <laughs> guess what manga we read this week? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <That's great. laughs> uh, uh... Introduce Sorry, yourself, boys. <laughs> No, I no. That's great. I liked that. Thank you. Boys, you guys, get a burn. Guys, boys. Guys, oh, introduce oh, I don't know. I, we were introducing <laughs> ourselves. I don't know. You were just seeing. Uh, they were just looking at each other's eyes. Just <laughs> like we were just staring. Slash fiction was being born right there. I was just confused, but yeah, I'm Yokorama. <laughs> Hi. Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow. Hey, he's fighting, fighting for Nippon. Nipple. Fighting for fighting nipples. For nipples. I'm fighting for nipples. nipples. Fighting. Apparently. Fighting for nipples. I fight for nipples. I love you know, it. Google Plus allows you to change your channel name. Oh, I know. I give no. it that for free. I need somebody to draw you in a cape with just a nipple on the back. Have you guys seen um so uh, Heavy Boss Property? No. No. Oh, they've got this like one song. <laughs> Where he, he, it's like a full song, if you guys imagine like an anime song, and he's got like the nipple things. Tassels? Right? Tassels? And he, he, no, no, he like looks like you can see his nipples, and it's just a song about nipples for about two minutes. It's a really well made song, and the animation <laughs> It's just a song about nipples. I'd give it a nine out of ten. <laughs> Done. <laughs> ten out of ten, we'd listen again. <laughs> Somebody needs to make a mashup of that song and Bees in the Butt and million, <laughs> Million Bills in the Butt. Bills in the Butt. Oh, poor, poor Tower in the, in, the, in the chat got the perfect name for him. Fighting for Nip Pun. Oh, God. Yes. Ah, ah. Too good. That's High too five. good. It's perfect. You did it. If you've never joined us for a manga pod before, what we like to do after we've introduced ourselves is we are going to tell you what manga we read and then we're going to give you a short spoiler free description of the manga, and then we're also going to give our spoiler-free recommendations, whether we recommend it or whether we said just skip over it or not, so that you can decide whether or not you want to go invest time in reading it before you get spoiled, and if you do want to do that, you can take your leave, not get spoiled, and then come back and watch the VOD of this on my channel, youtube.tv, no, that's wrong. YouTube. Yep, <laughs> that's, no, that's it. You nailed it. <laughs> Someone's having me. Find me there. <laughs> Dad, will you give us our spoiler <laughs> description of Belzebub? Belzebub. This is actually the first time doing this because we didn't do it last week. So. Oh, that's right. We missed last oh, yeah. week because of Twitchers. What? Twitch. It, it was just being twitchy. Bells. God damn it. I can't close you out because... <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> the story follows the strongest juvenile delinquent, Oga Tatsumi, a first year in SE... I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-
One day, while sleeping next to a river, he sees a man floating down it. He pulls him to shore, and the man splits in half, revealing a baby boy. That sounds like the start of a very weird hentai. This boy is the son of the Demon King, and has been chosen as the one to raise it with the baby's demon maid, Hilda. Again, hentai. The story follows his life with the child at the delinquent school. Less hentai. Depends what you're into. Thank you! <laughs> I started laughing because somebody, uh, Double, Double Edge Cats goes, is this the one with the anime? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. I yes. it made me super happy. <laughs> just to read. Yes, it, it is this one with the anime, just like everything else. <laughs> we love you, everybody who's joining us for chat. We love you so much. Especially if you're first timers, you know, actually not especially, just all around. We just love you. But yes, that's a spoiler-free description. Now let's move on to our spoiler-free recommendations. Whether or not we think y'all should spend time on this. What? Uh, can I start? Can I start? What? Yeah. Uh, You're fighting cool. for nipples. Boom! You see baby nipples. You see baby penis. And they measure things in farts. Boom. Done. You make up your own decision from that. <laughs> you have really turned off babies. a lot of people. <laughs> and our viewership just and gone. turned on, giggity. Oh, you're all about the hentai tonight. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. I don't know. Why. I can tell. I had a nap beforehand. I think that screwed my brain a little bit. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, How about you, Yoku? Mine is kind of a long story, so I'll let you guys go first. <laughs> <laughs> Brief, the brief summary of your recommendation summary, and then we it go starts when I was a little man. Yeah, it has to start from the beginning. When I was baby Bell's age. It has to start from the beginning. So I'll let you girls country. go first. Um, I, to follow up on that, um, I highly recommend it if you are into weird, weird humor. It is very weird humor, but in my opinion, it's hilarious humor, and it's a very interesting, it's definitely a shonen, and it has like, it's super shonen, but it has like a, it has a lot of really funny moments, but also the art is really great, and the characters are, they could be stereotypical, but there's something very charming about them, and very endearing, so. Yes, Naza? It's also meta as hell, and I love that. Yes. Extremely meta. Extremely meta. It's just so funny. So funny. So, I highly recommend it. I say check it out if you're into the comedy. Um, a lot of people, you know, actually might be turned off, especially if you read the first chapter, you might, I'd say give it a few chapters. <laughs> don't read, it. don't read chapter zero. It no. will yeah, confuse no. the shit out of you. Start with chapter one, because what? chapter zero is one of those like pilot episode sort yeah, of things. Yeah. Where they're just like, here's kind of what I want to write a manga about. And then start it over from one. Zero makes no sense. Just start don't, from one. Yeah. Don't read zero. Start from one and give it a few chapters because it starts up pretty right away. You get a really good feel for about what the tone <laughs> of the story is going to be. So I recommend it. I thought it was hilarious and wonderful. Um, I've read a lot of Beelzebub. It's a great manga, I think. I absolutely recommend it. And it's one of the few manga where I can say honestly that pretty much every single character is an awful person. <laughs> and yet the writing makes you love them and it's really weird. You're just like, why do I like you? You're terrible. But it's it's got just this really strange story, really strange humor like Aaron was saying, and for some reason it works and it's really fun to read. So if you like if you like uh fighting, if you like fighting manga and anime, and if you like super weird kind of doesn't really take itself seriously fighting an anime, this is perfect for you. So Yoku, okay, I, I, tell time. us your story, yeah, Yoku. Yeah, Yoku. No, the thing is, I realized that right. my story. No, we just, my, we just get comfortable. Keep it condensed. We've got, only got an hour, dude. All right. Ugh. I just realized that my story contains spoilers, so. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. You can tell your story when we do the like first impressions. Yeah, yeah after, I'll think I'll leave for that. But so, like, just to say if I would recommend it or not, I would recommend it. But you, you definitely have to be, you definitely have to have read this type of manga before. I don't know because I've read it before like the first two volumes I didn't go too far into it, but I read the first two volumes before that was like two years ago a little bit before the anime was even announced I think and I didn't like it at all 
I thought I just thought it was weird. I didn't like the whole baby like clinging to him and like the whole I, I wasn't really into the whole like demon stories, you know, with all these like, you know, Satan coming to Earth. Uh, there's a lot of those. Uh, so I think you have to have kind of a little bit of background knowledge on that stuff, like or at least have experience and know what to expect to enjoy this. Uh, I don't know. That's just I'm just trying to figure out why I liked it so much. I honestly can't even figure out why. <laughs> like, I couldn't stop reading it. I read a couple chapters ahead than we was supposed to read, and I could have read more since I yeah. actually I actually read ahead of time this time. I wasn't like reading till the last moment, which was like the first time ever. Uh, so yeah, I recommend it. So just check out the first the first volume probably because that's when it establishes the story with the whole school. They don't really go into the school until like a few chapters in so you got you gotta yeah. get the feel of the whole story so read the first volume if you're into that it gets even better like it just gets much better later on so if you like crude humor as well you will yeah if you like manga pod if you like, if you like manga pod you will love beelzebub <laughs> it's basically us Wait. as a manga i mean really oh and also if you like the old-fashioned like type of uh shonens with uh, more like some more muscular guys, you know, these delinquents and stuff. It's it kind of, I guess, pompadours, like, pompadours everywhere. Yeah, it feeds it feeds that nostalgia as well because like they don't really make shonen anime or manga as much like that anymore. Uh, even though it's not like over the top like Toriko is right now, where it's just like Dragon Ball Z, like Hakuto no Ken type, but it's like somewhere in the middle they have quite a bit of that and it's, it's kind of cool to see since there's not much like that out there at this moment so can can i just say as well um Beazle bob is actually one of the top mangas at the moment running in shonen jump weekly really it's, mm, it, at the moment i think it goes uh Beazle bob uh assassination classroom and then this wait what you said <laughs> one piece. Oh, okay. One piece. One piece uh, Beazle, uh, well, Assassin in Classroom than this. Is, is it? Like it I, I haven't. I have. I have. I have huh? It is. No, Kuroko. Kuroko is fourth. I think. Yeah. What? What are you doing? What are you doing, oh. Japan? It's no, because it's of all the death threats, Aaron. They and that guy also, um, you have to remember that Kuroko actually uh, tends more to the female audience as well. So yeah, they yeah, buy more. Um, they buy my, They buy more volumes. Whereas uh, Beazle Bub yeah. and Assassination Classroom uh, works with ratings. If you've read Bakuman, if you yeah, understand that's that, right. yeah, that's yeah, like the weekly that's stuff. Right. Uh, yeah. Which, which so a lot of the right. times, a lot of the times, like that doesn't really matter because, yeah. uh, like Kuroko was was not that high up that year that it pretty much outbeat Naruto and was like number two. Uh, yeah. I think that was last year. It wasn't high up there on the rankings each week, but it still sold so yeah. many volumes. Yeah, so you, can, you past, can't really look this like past that. year. It was third behind Attack on Titan in One Piece. Yeah, so but yeah, every week like it's, volumes, volumes. Yeah, as a whole. Yeah, yeah volumes are different though. With weekly ratings, yeah. which is yeah, like nobody, nobody really used to read Bleach anymore. Like it used to get like number fourteen in the rankings, but it still sold tons of volumes. Yeah, yeah. it's it's really. Once we read Bakuman, it's going to be very fun to talk about that kind of stuff. But we're not talking about that. I know, I was so... just like, we should bring this back. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Those are our spoiler-free recommendations. We all recommend it. So if you do not want to be spoiled by the discussion, then go ahead and take your leave now. But once again, you can come back and watch the VOD of it on my channel, which I already, you know, shouted out and messed it up once, so I don't want to try that again. <laughs> YouTube.tv like, slash I, slash I don't know dot com. <laughs> Alrighty, let's jump in to our discussions. What were your guys' expectations? If you're new here, we usually start with what were your guys' expectations before we started to read the manga. So what were your guys' expectations before we started to read the manga, Das? Yoku, do you want to tell your full story? <laughs> go, go, you go first, Yoku. Yeah, I ended up kind of like fitting in some parts into that previous part I was talking about. But I, I want like just compute, complete pure expectations this time when I sat down and read it, I just like, I wasn't excited at all. I like not even like 1%. I was just like, oh my gosh, I remember hating this. I hated the manga. I hated the anime. Like it was so annoying of all these, like how, like Beale keeps shocking him every 10 seconds. I, I just, I hated that. Uh, and it was even worse in the anime when it came to mm -hmm. that. Uh, I think they even added like more shocks, shock waves. Yeah, I'm not as big of a fan of the anime uh, as I am of the manga. Yeah. 
So I was, I came, I, I thought I was gonna like hate it. Um, I like, okay, it's a, it's a shonen. I, it's short chapters. I could probably get through this really quick. What? Somebody doesn't <laughs> like Belzebub. <laughs> the dogs are like, stop. Stop, stop hating it. Around the top. <laughs> it's I my favorite manga. Anime. It's my favorite manga. <laughs> yeah, but. But I was just maybe maybe the reason another reason why I liked it. I'm trying to figure out why I liked it so much this time is because I came in to it that like with the lowest expectations possible. Like I haven't had such low expectations for manga for a while, so that's probably another reason why I like it. But I completely loved it. I couldn't stop reading it. Like I, I started reading it. Um, I thought I wanted to read like ten chapters the night before so that you know I could catch up whatever uh, to the art part. Uh, sometime later today because I, I have work and all that stuff and I ended up reading like 20 something chapters and I'm like man it's so freaking late I should go to sleep but I just can't stop reading it it was it was really good like it's super good like very good <laughs> I'm telling you like, I, I don't, it's so good it's probably up there like my top five shonen uh at least from like the starts you know like that the start of a manga um because what we read four volumes right not five four. we read four yeah, so like if you if you take the first four volumes of other shonens that I read, this is this is high up there. Like it was really good. I love all the fights. I love all the characters. All the over exaggerated uh, comedy. And if you know me, I love over exaggerated comedy. It's my favorite type. <laughs> so and it was really cool to see a bunch of these like muscular guys like punching each other. Like him seriously, he flew off at one point like very far, like a, like a, like a star. Yeah, it, was, it was awesome. <laughs> they had a giant it, it, panel that I like was reading on on my shooting phone, star. And I was so, is this the same spot we're talking about? Where yeah, I think like, it is like twinkle. Panel, and I was like, I don't even know where he is. Like, I don't understand what's happening. They had to zoom oh. out that far. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so, Tojo's like, like, he's in the, he's in the lake. He's just he's in the lake. The, and there's just this oh, like, tiny not. little, <laughs> but he kind of was in the lake. He was just in another lake. Like, <laughs> he flew to another lake. <laughs> Over the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Has uh, that happened to any of us before on Manga Pod, where like we've read something and hated it? I was and gonna then... say, what? Well, for a second, lake. I thought you were like guts. Have any of us so been thrown in a lake before? <laughs> no, yes. we're like we're we're one of us really really loved, we really hated a manga, and then read it again for Manga Pod and wound up really liking it. That not, that's the first time. Extreme, yeah. No, no, I had that happen with um uh something. That oh. Helps. oh no, you're What is happening to my camera? <laughs> Why are you doing this? You gotta tone down that Gaussian blur, Dodger. Dude. What? There you go. See, that's what I do when my footage looks terrible. <laughs> Gaussian blur that sheet. Welcome to Fighting for Nippon. <laughs> We're gonna talk about animus. Okay. <laughs> Fighting for nipple. Get it right. Fighting Fighting for nipples. Nipples. I think that's one of. Yeah, I don't remember what Daz's was. That hasn't happened to me. That's never happened to me before. Uh, I, I before did, did not want to read a manga that, that we picked, but like, oh, yeah. I didn't really hate it. But this time I was just like, ah, oh, Bill's Bob, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but I loved it. I loved it. No, oh, that's sweet. Good. Um, I'll go next. I have read this manga three times before. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> like I all the way up to like most recent chapters? Yeah, because every time there was enough space between that I was like, I don't remember what's going on or where I stopped. So I would just start at the beginning again. Yeah. So I've read this part so many times, but it's still awesome. <laughs> like, I just love it. The story is so weird. Like, it's so weird. I've never read, like, the, the themes of it are common, but the way that the story is acted upon is so bizarre. Like, I've never read anything like Bill's About before. So, um, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I enjoyed reading it a fourth time. <laughs> so. Yay! That's There's a testament my... to a good manga. If you're right? yeah. great. Aaron! Aaron! How many times have you read Kuroko, Aaron? I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> what kind That's of question great. is that? <laughs> I was just curious suddenly to know if Aaron no. had kept count. <laughs> I, I can't count that. No, <laughs> I got to like three and then was like, why do I bother counting? Because it's happened. This isn't important. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, you can talk about it. It kind of no, has to do with I was going to say, it, like, I always think about one random part and then I go to read that and then I end up like not being able to remember exactly where it is, but I'm like, maybe it's around here. And then I end up reading like 200 chapters. Yeah, Every yeah, yeah. time. That's why I can't go back and 
reread it because I'm like, it's gonna three hours are just gonna be good. You need like to buy the physical volumes, like have all of them I lined have... up on a shelf. No, like all of them and have like bookmarks with like I notes. I should. I have like I have like. Aaron would just have like sticky notes saying this part was awesome, this part was awesome. Holy butts! Holy butts! Holy butts! Holy butts! Number two. Holy butts number three. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Back to Beals, bud. Um, I have read the part. I read half of what we read for this time. I read half of it before. Yeah, same here. The first two volumes. I read. Yeah, yeah, the first two volumes. So, cause Dodger, it was like right after. I started reading Kuroko, and then you read Kuroko, and then you started reading, like, Soul Eater, and you got really into a lot of different manga, and that's when you read oh Bells God, Above, right. and you told me to read it. And so I read the first two volumes, and I absolutely loved it, but I just never continued. Yeah. Because then I gave up manga for Lent. That's what happened. I gave up manga oh for Lent. Oh my god, Lent. that's right! <laughs> I was, like, didn't read anything, and then after that, it was only Kuroko, because there had been, like, 50 chapters. <laughs> but, um, I absolutely loved the first two volumes, and so I was really, really excited to read more of it. And it... It got, it's just as weird as I remember it being, but it's also just, like, the more I read it and the weirder I feel it is, the more fantastic it gets. Yeah. It's just such an interesting level of weird that's handled super well, I don't understand. Yeah, it gets better. It gets, yeah, like, it the thing is, it, it was good in the beginning, and it's it's still good. It's not like it was worse. It was good, but it's just getting better. It's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, it wasn't bad at first, but it just it keeps getting better, and it stays just keeps I, getting weirder. Like it, and it's it awesome. got it got the best when they introduced finally like show the face of Tojo, but we'll talk about that later. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um. I. All right. I was a much, much like Yoku, except I hadn't actually read or looked or knew much about Beezlebub, but I wasn't like going to expect to like it because firstly, it sounded weird as hell and not like the good weird just. <laughs> really weird and then i heard it was very like generic did you, see, did you see the anime or any any bits of the anime i watched the first episode of the anime it was so oh, bad no so the bad anime was so i liked the yeah. opening at first and then i was like no yeah, the opening was is. good i love yeah. the opening and then after but, a while i was like i can't stick to it for the opening yeah i don't remember I didn't it live up either I, I was just like, all right, this is, I, no, nah, I can't deal with this. And then I kept hearing how bad the anime was and how terrible they did. I'm just like, oh, this is just another one of those crappy franchises that comes from Weekly Shonen Jump, I guess. Yeah. I was pleasantly surprised. I'm like, really, I'm like, holy crap, this is awesome. I'm enjoying <laughs> every single panel. It's so great. It's like a community, like if you've ever seen the TV show Community, it's like that, but for Battle manga. It's so good. <laughs> That's a really good analogy. I, I can't. Good way to put it. I, I can't. I can't. I can't see. What, like, explain. Explain yourself. Explain. Like, uh, yeah. How do you see us? Explain it yourself. <laughs> uh, explain yourself. Yourself. <laughs> no. Um. Well, community is very meta in how it does all of its stuff, and it picks from different, like, uh, genres and TV shows. I'm so. I'm such a noob. I don't know what meta means. Meta yeah. means it references itself. It's it's aware of what it is. It's a, yeah. So, so like, like characters will make references to the fact that they're in a manga. Like when they did the like the ghost thing pops up, like the doctor ghost. He's just like, why are you drawn so badly? Yeah. Oh, why is this bad like, character design or lazy character design? Or the friend is like, stop talking to yourself because he's like yeah. reading the speech bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like that, and community does that a lot. And community also references TV shows and movies and pop culture. Which uh, Beezlebub also does as well, but more like manga-ish. So uh, I see that. I, yeah. So I just think it's very much like the same, if you know what I mean. And it's yeah. good. So awesome. Yeah. So we all went into it with different levels of expectations and came out happy. Yay! Yay! Bells the bub 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 bub. Feels in the bub. Feels in the bub. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> throw stuff at you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. I'm all in Australia and I want to throw stuff it. at you. How do I, I do it, this? Though. I love it. Is there anyone in LA I can tell to throw stuff at you? No. Aaron, Aaron. <laughs> no, no. I will talk to my friends at Mayhem. So when you <laughs> back to Daily Bike, I'll walk it. into work and just everybody's chucking stuff at me. I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> Even Nicki Minaj is there. She's like, how dare you? Like, Oh, that, you should do a cover of that for your channel and just like dress up like <laughs> oh my god please do but let's talk about Ogax alright 
What are you guys is? Obviously, he, he was great. He's all around fantastic. What are your guys' first impressions of him and how did they change by the end of what we read? Or did they change? I mean, Oga, I love Oga for the same reasons that I love Mugen from Samurai Champloo. Like, a character that just literally does whatever he wants. Like, just lives life the way that he wants to live life and can't be told what to do. And uh, and there's something, like, enchanting about that <laughs> because nobody's actually like that, right? Yeah. So, um, and and just like with Mugen, like, there are plenty of moments where it they have, like, like speckles of being a good person <laughs> that like shine through and you're like, Oh, there's, there's like a person who's not just made of stone in there somewhere. And I, al I also just love like with the baby involved, how he like immediately took on the role of like, I'm going to teach you how to be a man. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> did, did, did anyone else get the whole um, team four star, make a man out of you parody? No. Oh, really? Which part was That's that? You know, when, when he's like, I'm making man out of you. And I'm just like, oh, I had to watch it again. I I'm haven't just... seen Team Four Star in so long. Like, I was thinking of Mulan. I thought of Mulan when I... Well, yeah. I thought of Mulan, but I haven't seen Mulan. So. Oh. oh, I got Mulan. It's, it's good for Wait. <laughs> what? Dazzle, you've never, never seen, seen Mulan? Mulan? Get what? Go Stop. Just leave. Go and watch Mulan. <laughs> I get <laughs> enough shit from my girlfriend about this. Don't you guys start to. That is blowing my mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> you should watch Mulan. It's a really good movie. <laughs> I love it so much. Anyway. Yes. So those are my oh, feelings yeah. on it. I love, I, lo yes. I love him. I definitely, I got, I definitely I got the Mugen feeling too from him where he's just a badass. He really is a horrible person. He doesn't care yeah. about what other people do, but he has like these just little speckles of kindness that pop out where he like it's not he may not care about most things, but he does like care about people in his own way. Like he obviously cares about Baby Bell in a like not in a, in a very traditional way, but he shows it through like very strange ways. I don't know, he just- In a manly him. way. In a manly way. Like, he goes and he rescues him. He rescues, um, oh god, what's Hil the girl's Hil name? Hilda and Fruichi. Yeah, he goes and rescues yeah. them. He doesn't, like, turn away. He He's a good guy in certain, like, certain aspects. And so, I was just really impressed with this character in that way. Uh, I liked him. I feel I feel like he reminded me of Hawk of uh, from Hakusho uh, oh, Yusuke god. Hirameshi. Oh, uh, so, yeah. Yeah. He but but the thing is he's not he's not like Yusuke. Like he's he's a little bit more simple minded. It's kind of an extreme version of Yusuke. <laughs> yeah, he's a more simple minded and he's a lot easier to anger Yusuke. That's what he is. But he is like he it feels like he was structured from a Yusuke type of character. And Yusuke, he's just full on badass and so is Oga. Oga is just seriously like like he had so many moments where it was just like his face and like his eyes are just like these like thin eyes and just like like they have this like big black line just like drawn. Oh like, yeah. Like yeah. you can tell he's serious. He's not he's not BSing around here. He's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> he will destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I love Don't piss his... off the baby daddy. The baby daddy. Yeah. <laughs> his angry faces. Like, it's just as crazy. His face is just, just his No, faces. his normal faces are so... Is... Especially when he's trying to, when like... That whole scene when go. he was trying to, like, make Baby Bill, like, feel better. And he was like, how do I make funny faces? And they all looked <laughs> terrifying. And the baby was like, yay! My, or my all the times he'll be watching. The park. Like, the park one the park. where he's, like, trying to say hello. And he's just like, all right, all right, I'm going to make myself look nice and say hello to, to like, represent For, myself. And he's just like... It's <laughs> park debut! <laughs> Yeah, he's like, no, he throws he baby, the baby Bill. And like... He's like, he's like, okay, baby Bill, we gotta look, we gotta look happy, smile, smile, and like they look and like <laughs> they both look terrifying. I also love that that like when Hilda and Baby Bill like show up at his house, everybody's like, well, this is obviously your baby. You can't <laughs> convince us that this is not your. You yeah, look the like same. And he's like, it's not my baby. <laughs> I love the fact that they're just like, oh yeah, it's his baby because he's such a delinquent. He has to have a baby. <laughs> right? Yeah. I love that his family seems kind of normal like really normal they're not yeah they're none of them are like yakuza or anything like that none of them are like 
beating other people up. Like, his sister seems very level-headed. His mom yeah. is just, like, in an apron. His dad is a business, business sweater. I was He's like, reading a newspaper, and then he, like, apologizes the for his sliding, stuff. Uh, the sliding bell. Uh, I love like, they're like, wow, that was really impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys that saw that great. where the sister yeah. was like sliding bow that was impressive oh my god and then the moments where like this is this is off track of Oga but no, that's fine like, you have that whole scene <coughs> where Hilda's, like, obviously implying that they've had sex and this is his baby <laughs> and then, like, a couple chapters later we have Furuichi and Alinda Long oh. <laughs> like, doing the exact same scene but Furuichi is like what? <laughs> What? It's even funnier because he he, oh he plainly God. says he plainly says remember that like that time when you were inside when of me. You were inside, inside of me. That's when I knew. And his family's like. It was so funny because okay. like, I was I was on my way home from work and like my brother was driving and we're just like listening to like some country music or something on the radio and I'm like sitting there reading the manga on the iPad and I just like start cracking up and my brother's like dude what's going on I'm like dude you're not gonna get it you're not gonna understand it's so funny like it's so good <laughs> just no it's funny <laughs> all right um uh Obviously, with you guys, obviously with me, I don't have like the Yu Yu Show background, or I haven't seen Samurai. You suck, man! Uh, I can't move Champ on in Hakusho. Show. You haven't seen Samurai. Sh I'm sorry. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I don't have that background with the characters, but one character that he really reminds me of, he seems like a more uh, angrier version of Toma from Twaru uh, Majetsu no Index, where Toma always sort of butts in, I know right, to save the day. And he just punches bitches. That's all he does. He just goes up to someone and punches them in the face. And then everything's okay. It's exactly the same here. He walks up to someone. He punches them. They fall on the wall. He walks Except off. Except he doesn't punch girls. No, and I like that. You like that I he like. doesn't punch girls? I love that. I, I love that part with... Uh, well, it means that he's got, that um, he's got some the morals The red-tails girl? Him. Yeah, he's got yeah. some morals in him. And he... Uh, what's, what, he's what like Kuwabara. He's not like Yusuke. He's like Kuwabara. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kuwabara. No, okay, no. Yusuke. Listen, listen. Yusuke has no morals. Yusuke is like, I don't care if you're an old lady, a woman, or a little baby. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. You know, that's what he yeah, said. That's a quote. That's a quote. They, they were able to get away with that with Yusuke because from the very first frame of that manga, he saves a kid. He sacrifices himself for a kid. So, like, immediately, there's no question whether or not he's, like, a good person. Yeah, Whereas with still, Oga, it's like, it is Oga gonna beat up a girl? He might. But the whole <laughs> Yeah, I was, like, I was waiting for him to, like, punch her. And I'm just like, and he's like, I don't, I'm not going to. And he's just, I'm just like, oh. Exactly and then he like, asks her out again. I'm just like, dude, stop asking out chicks. You don't know them yet. He doesn't. That's not I don't think he works. knows he's asking them out. Be the he mother of the baby. I don't think he knows, no. Will you be he's the mother of the baby? Oh my god. Will you go out with me? Will you be his mother? She was just like... What? I, don't know, I love how she didn't actually run away either. She was more like, I actually quite like this guy. She like falls in love with him. Yeah. yeah and know. then and then when they're referencing Hilda as his bride, she's like, oh fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> this is all so confusing. No one knows what's going on. It's I all know. a big misunderstanding. That's all it is. That's what this manga yeah. is. It's just like huge <laughs> misunderstanding. Misunderstanding the manga. I love oh, it. It's great. I also just that's love another the reason setting. I love it. Yeah. Like the setting of a high school that's filled with kids that just beat the shit out of each other. I'm like, yes. why even go to school? Like, what is the point? But they Wait, all go they to school. Do like, you guys like, notice like, there has not been one teacher? No. That's what I was time. just. Yeah. <laughs> And another yes. part was like when they walk into the school and like girls turn up and he's just like, hey, people were just like thinking this was an all boys school, but it's not. There's actually girls here. I know. This just like so meta. And I'm just like, I didn't even thought about that. But now I look back, there was no girls. I don't yeah. understand how they even have like students attending. Because like, don't delinquents skip school? Wouldn't they like be like five people? That's why it's weird. <laughs> okay. But like they, Japan, they form okay. gangs within the school, so. Yeah, Sorry. in Japan, if they don't go to school, they actually go to jail. What? So it's actually like really, it's really important that they go to school. So that's why when they go to school, they do all the delinquent stuff there. Oh, then it's fine. Yeah, they can skip class at school. That's why you see like lots of kids skipping class and going to the roof. But 
they can't skip class and go out because if they do that and get caught, well, zoop, straight to the police station. Boo. Damn. That's yeah. strict. I would have been in jail, like, in ninth grade. <laughs> <laughs> they crazy. Your just has a mile but, long but on top of that, though, they don't have to go to high school, so. This is high school, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they're in high school. But if they go to school, though, they have to go to school or they have to work. There's no oh, I see. Middle. Oh, so okay. if you sign up for school, you have to be in school. Yeah. Okay. okay. And if you don't go to school, you're seen as, like, the worst person in the world. And, oh, my God, you're the devil child. Like why, a why don't you strive for something more? Except like over Stop like here. Stop dyeing your hair blonde. Yeah. God damn. You disrespect the family. Uh, you didn't go to school. Um, I was sick. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, what do you guys think since we kind of just started talking about the ladies? Let's talk about the ladies. What are your guys' thoughts on the female gang? Lady yeah, gang. Uh, I loved the lady characters. Mm-hmm. Me too. It's cool. <laughs> Especially in a manga that has like so many obviously like what is the word that I'm looking for? Like Over all of the, the men, all of the men like totally disrespect them, but they get the shit beaten out of them for yes. it. And it's like I'm okay with that. Like if the characters are going to be that way, like the male characters are going to be that way for there to be some sort of like a bad thing that happens to them is kind of like well. <laughs> yeah. Oh like, no. Okay. Exactly. It's like... Yeah. So they're uh, they're pretty much like the only, well, at least from the from the characters that actually have like a face or have some sort of significance. Nice. They're. I'm I'm not trying to say not not like a face. We all of them have faces. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, are you being like sexist, Yoku? Are you sexist. saying girls don't have no, faces? No, I'm not talking about just girls. I mean, I, from characters that have a face in the series, girls are You're the only faces. ones that are, that use faces. Bob, go <laughs> <Be> on. <nice. laughs> yes, you. <laughs> like sorry. the girls are the only ones that really use weapons, so that's kind of yes. cool. They have their own like unique, unique uh, part to the story as well. You don't like like she, we got the paintball gun girl. You know oh she like she throws like sport. juggles she juggles guns. Just, we got that girl with the with the chain that was freaking yeah. epic. She like chain whip. Cool. She like took out those M M M K five or whatever yeah, or five of them in like one go. It's crazy. It's like earlier they showed her being unable to fight back. Like she lost a fight earlier, mm. and she didn't have her chain. She, yeah, and then she comes back. She's like, as long as I have a weapon, I'm fine. So it's like she understands her weakness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I thought was really cool. mm Hmm. And the, like, this isn't really a spoiler, but, like, the women continue to be, like, awesome and important you to the story. You just spoiled everything. I'm I, know, I know, I'm spoiling everybody, but, like, the, the women are all badasses, and they stick around, right. which is really nice. Ouch. Um, yeah, you and I... You, you know you get banned for spoilers. Oh, come on! <laughs> Ow! I have control of the Skype call. I'll decide who gets banned. Um... Oh, but the first time that I read Beelzebub, I did not like Hilda for a while. And oh, then yeah. she she grew on me. And now, like, like reading it again, I'm like, God, Hilda's so dope. She's so awesome. Like, yeah, yeah I like her. I Actually, like can, I, can, can I say something about Hilda for a sec? Yes. Her boobs are weird. Oh, yeah. They're, like, I lopsided noticed. all the time, right? But no, no, no. Like, they had, like, the full shot, like, in one of the start of the chapters. Like, you know how they have, like, the full body shots they're or something? They're different sizes. And they're, like, missiles. They're, they're like... And they're always different size. They're, like... Weird. They're, like... But, they, yeah, she's always, she's always like, standing weird. So, like, her yeah. boobs just look like they're like this. <laughs> it's so weird to me. I'm just like, is that a demon thing? Is she wearing Every lady has horses? uneven boobies, okay? They're just exaggerating it a little There was that one panel where, remember, uh, she got... She's got missile boobies. She it's got kidnapped. Weird. She got kidnapped, and they were he was shooting shooting her clothes oh, off. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. like, she was, like... Standing like this. I remember that part. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you couldn't finish that. <laughs> remember that, yeah, guys? He's just like, I remember that. I remember that. You guys were... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really uh, liked... I really liked that chapter when her and Furuchi got... She was faking. Oh, faking. Yeah. But All I of them except Furuichi were faking. <laughs> Furuchi was like ready I feel to die. So bad. <laughs> if there's a character I feel horrible for in this manga, it's him. <laughs> Why? 
here's my big question about this manga. Like, the biggest question I have, why is Fruichi at the school? Right? <laughs> he cannot I mean, protect himself. He does not fight. Why is he at a school filled with delinquents? What did he do to go there? Maybe, maybe he's like, isn't he like the middle school friend of Ogre? So then maybe he just voted into the school. Yeah, they thought he was like part of all that stuff. But really maybe. it was yeah. all yeah. Guilt by association? Yeah. yeah. So his parents were like, we'll send you there. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe there is die there, there. it's whatever. Because they have maybe. to take exams. Maybe so he's just not maybe. smart. That school's yeah, not for smart people. He oh, did okay. show off some bronze at the pool. I mean, he, in the end, it was... By running away. <laughs> by running, he still ran away, but he like, still, like, sad. he had a cool moment. He had a cool panel. That, no, that, he hey, was... I have to admit, that was really cool. I like yeah. that. No, when I, when I saw that, like, I was like, man, this guy is my favorite character for this chapter. I couldn't for say this the whole chapter. Thing. I, I just kept, like, talking, <laughs> and then the, the, the girls just, like, say some stupid stuff to him. He goes to walk off, and he sits back down. They're like, why are you sitting back down? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's just keep talking. You it's fun. Tell, you can tell that the the one girl is kind of impressed with him. She yeah. A little bit of a. Not the other girl. It's like my yaki soba. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Dude, woman after my own heart. She's like, oh no, the noodles. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> There's like a fight going on. She's like, no. <laughs> it's great. No, but that was that was an epic moment. That's probably like in my top five favorite moments. And there was a lot of epic moments like that. Dude, not to me. Can we talk about that dude? Oh, do you guys pretty, remember pretty, pretty, boy? pretty long no. boy who's still like That is so mysterious. I got so confused. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Such mystery. I got really confused. I had to whisper, that's so much of a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I really wanted Yoku to say, God, he just reminds me so much of Kurama. For <laughs> 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 you have to know. He, he, does. he does. I know he does. Yeah. I know. Now that you mention it, yeah. <laughs> this anyway. is freaking like a rip off. Fine, this is rip off of Hawker Show. That's what it is. Oh. Careful with that spoon. Beal Be 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 Bob is uh is uh Kuinma. That's what he is. Yeah. And then Except not. Hilda is he? Hilda? No, Hilda is yeah, is he? She's yeah. like a female. I was gonna say Botan, but nah. no, no. Not Botan even is close. way too happy. Botan is Furuichi. That's that's Botan. There we go. We did it. We cast this entire thing. Cool. Let's move on. <laughs> Daz and uh, I are both just like. Daz, what? Botan. Daz is just gone. Botai? I was just checking Twitter. I. Daz, I you can't... disrespectful son of a. Tits. I'm not gonna say anything about tits. him. I'll take that. But I like. Yeah, him. you better not say anything about him. I'll check Twitter while you guys discuss him. <laughs> what, are we, what are we discussing? I knew, uh, not to, not to me. Not to me. I, was, I got really confused because I was reading this manga on the plane, and then I was also jumping back between this and Not to me Eugene show. And so at one point, I was just confused about, like, who I was reading. It made me really, I was really out of it. But, um, I, knew, I, I expected it. I freaking oh, expected it. Yeah. There was no way that they were going to show him as, like, the character from the background, like, mm, what's going on here? Mm, yeah. There was no way he was not going to have a bunch of power. Like, or he was going to be super strong. Like, there but was I no don't way know who he is. is. I don't know who he is. Like, No, I want to know his backstory. Maybe he's a demon. Well, I didn't think about that. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, he could be. Shit. He's never... <laughs> 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 Brooke, you stay in. You stay Get in. out! Get out! <laughs> I think now that yo, huh? Yo, yo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that like sound check or something? <laughs> I was just agreeing with myself. Oh yes, yo. Yeah. That was my. I was going through my thought process. Daz, what's your thought on that's, Mr. Man? That's a problem. Um, <laughs> um, I, I don't have any feelings for Nuts Me, one way or the other. I'm sorry. What? You don't love him? No. What are your thoughts? <laughs> what are your predictions with him? Do you have any predictions? We should do Honest... bets, but we, we probably won't ever remember. <laughs> Wait, no. I don't remember him all too much. Now but I'm he's, thinking about him. He's a demon. He's a demon. I he is. He's 99.9% he's a demon. Looking at Dodger's yeah, eyes. It'd be interesting if there's more demons in the real world. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, there, there has it. to be. 
There is because with Tojo, he's like, oh, now do you have the little thing? Mm, now I, I understand why you're so strong. So that thing, that wasn't Bill's, Bill's the Bub's little thing on his shoulder. That's a different demons. Ooh! Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, they kind of your implied. Face. Your face. <laughs> you're trying so hard. Just do random faces <laughs> so that you can confuse us. <laughs> Let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. Yeah. Let's talk about Tojo? Yeah, guys, that's on Tojo. I love that Tojo is like the strongest dude in the school. And the second Hilda sees him, she's like, there's no malice in that guy. Yeah. Like, he's a, he's a nice guy. Like, the <laughs> baby Bale wouldn't like him. <laughs> like, he so only funny. liked him because re he resembles Olga. But Olga's a nice yeah. guy as well. He's just, he's just crazy. Sometimes. Yeah, I think <laughs> Olga has a lot more malice in him than... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was actually really interesting. I... I've got thoughts. I think Ogre's part demon. Because if you think... Like um, Yusuke? No! <laughs> like, if, to if, to if Tojo is part demon, or demon, right? And Beezabub... <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, Dazza, it's okay. Just take a second. And I took the reference. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Keep going. I'm so sorry. I had to, though. I had to. <laughs> Right. Anyway, um, because if Beezlebub uh, has a liking to uh, what's his face, the normal guy Ogre, right? And Tojo, he also has a liking to Tojo because he looks like Ogre. It's and he couldn't see properly. Maybe it was more the feeling that he gave off, like the <clears throat> oh. And maybe Tojo was banished from hell because he wasn't evil enough. Oh. He is half demon. He, this I, I feel like this it, this guy took a lot of inspiration from Yu Yu Hakusho. But so. then why would Tojo have the contract seal? Tojo, because there, he's there's another demon. demon. <clears throat> he's just uh, a demon. Tojo? Tojo's just a demon? What? What? Okay. That would be <laughs> I completely disagree with that. If he's a demon, I won't I won't be happy. But isn't that what we just discussed like five minutes ago? He's a demon? Not no, to not me. Tojo. Not to me. Oh, I thought it was Tojo. Oh. No, not to me. The the the, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, don't worry, don't worry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> my, whole, my whole entire desk like shook when I hit that. Yeah, but yeah, I think he it is half sense. demon. It would make sense if he's half demon. It it would it would make a lot of sense because why would he be so easily connected with Bealzy Bob, and why would they have such a great relationship? Yeah. Right now. <laughs> Yeah, I just, that's, that was interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I just, <laughs> uh, Mazuku Oga. Yep. Um, he even like he would even have those tattoos and stuff. That freaking. Yeah, Dude, the tattoos are so dope. I know. I like so I like the one he got the whole hand thing going. Yeah. Just, like, I love that sit, he like was so sitting with mad. the baby. He's just trying to get rid of it. <laughs> he's like trying to be really nice to everybody. So uh, again, <laughs> again with the park scene. With the park scene, remember he was sitting, he still had that, like, full arm F tattoo. Oh, and that, the cop came face. by and was like this. Oh, that cop, uh, that cop got his ass handed to him. Oh, That's my God. That's probably one of my favorite parts. That was that, great. Of what we read is when he's so like, good. I'm putting trash in the trash can. The look <laughs> is so good. It's just like, see ya. <laughs> I love, one of my favorite moments... <laughs> When I first read it, I was like, this is disgusting. Because sometimes, you know, crude humor, I don't really, I'm not the biggest fan of crude humor a lot of times. And so you only like when everybody dies. That's exactly. If de if dead humor is the best. <laughs> <laughs> nope, <it's> taken. <laughs> <laughs> they died from a car crash, lol. <laughs> lol, 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 lol. That part when he was L O L, he actually, like, you guys remember that bubble? bubble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Go ahead, Darren. You had something to say. To say. <laughs> was one of my favorite moments was when he woke up or he was dreaming. And he's like, I'm in the ocean. This is so relaxing. I don't remember the last time I've been to the ocean. And it was just baby Bill's Pee. piss. Oh, oh. Can, can I just say? Can I just I'm say? Can that, the busting of the diaper. Can, can I just say that that was the chapter? That made it for me. I was instantly like, before that, I was just like, oh, it's okay, you know? It's not that great. Then I'm just like, 
this chapter was amazing. It was so, <laughs> it's so great. I loved it. I remember I just, hating that part in the anime for some reason. I just, I just think it's so funny how <laughs> they just didn't think to take him to the ocean. <laughs> right, I know. And I also they love how Hilda's outlook on it was like, ah, the glorious urine. <laughs> like, <laughs> we, we must choose a village for this urine to sweep away. <laughs> and they're like, Logan was just getting like progressively more pissed off. Pissed, 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 pissed on. Ah. Oh, fighting gosh. for Nippon. Oh, what were your uh, guys' favorite funny moments other than that one? So I think other than all the moments, all one. the funny moments that we mentioned so far? Oh, yeah, that's true. Right. Fine, whatever. You guys go. <laughs> all right, somebody else go. I need to think. Okay, God, my the... favorite. Sorry, go, 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 no, go, go. No. All right, go. Ladies first. I was going to say that. One of the funniest parts, probably for me, is when he's gets shot and is in his own head, and like Buff Fruichi is like measuring things in farts, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "Why are we measuring this in farts? This doesn't make any sense." And I was like, "It's beautiful. It's everything that I want." You in a would manga. love that. You would love that scene. Uh... <laughs> I was like, what? It's so weird. It's so long and weird, but it's amazing. It's like it's a. It doesn't make sense. Why? <laughs> Oh gosh! Oh, I love it. Yes. Uh, I think um, I think uh, my favorite moment would just have to be like the park scene. That <laughs> that moment yes. right there just, just was just so great. With the moms, and, the park. You know, it's so freaking out. And then he asks this like chick out, and she ends up being the queen. It's just like, yes, oh, so good. I don't know why. <laughs> Look how pissed she was getting because of she's like she's my little brother you bitches why don't you just talk to me you know instead of being so judgy judgy yeah and I she know. looked she's into like, everything everything like she was about to like attack the the cops or like go look bad mouth some yes. people and like yeah. Olga Olga would actually like do that first and she'd be like oh maybe he did it to uh to you know me. stop me from doing it. oh, oh. she's this is so funny how like she took everything to heart. And it's funny because we don't know, like, if he did it to keep her from punching him, he did or it. or if he did it just because he acts without he's, thinking. He's that's hidden. that's another really funny moment, actually. Like right at the beginning, when Hilda's like, "I'm gonna chase after you with my bird," and like sends this bird after um, Oga and Furuichi, and Oga just like kicks it immediately. And first, Furuichi like, flips out. He's like, "Oh my god!" It's a demon. <laughs> and Oga's like, "Whatever." <laughs> Yeah, who attacks first wins. That's yep, whoever attacks first wins. Amazing. Uh, oh, um, um, oh, okay, Aaron. Now I was just gonna say, let's touch on art really quick because we're coming up on an hour here, so that we can wrap up and give our final thoughts. Um, so who wants to do? We want to touch on the art. Epic. Okay. I'll touch it. Touch it. Slot Go, Dasa. Touch it. it. Lick it. Um, the art. <laughs> Pop it. I think the <laughs> lick it. Bop it? What? Bop it. Twist that's, it. That's it. Twist it. Did you have Again. a bop it? No, that's a toy. That's a that's a that's a I know toy. it's a toy, Yoku, but it's also uh -huh. the start of a hentai. Um What? Uh -huh. <laughs> um I actually thought like for the most part, when they weren't actually like emphasizing like scenes and stuff, the art wasn't that amazing. I mean it was still like nice and it was clean, but it wasn't anything to write home about. But the real shining moments are when they have the faces, like the faces and the emphasis and the jokes as well. Like the jokes are always in a different art style and it just works perfectly. And I think it's when the manga goes off beat that the art really shines. And mm -hmm. I think that's the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every... Oh, sorry. No, go for it. I was going to say, um, I agree 100%. Like, I didn't feel there was anything that unique when it was regular. Like, I thought it was still nice and understandable, but I didn't think it was anything spectacular. But when they did the faces and the fight scenes, I thought it was very detailed and really interesting. And it really reminded me of Nisa Koi, the faces yes. from Nisa Koi. Yes, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, That's what I was reminded of. I don't remember how... anything from Nisa Koi. <laughs> you don't remember? Well, can go what she can. That's, That's all I remember, and then everybody dies or something like that. That's our in in the Aaron version, they do. <laughs> but um, I should change my YouTube name to Deadly. Oh, Deadly Aaron. Deadly Aaron. 
But anyway, yeah. that's not what I was talking about. But it really reminded me of Nisa Koi, just how the faces are basically the <clears throat> most standout of the art. Just how detailed and hilarious, yet terrifying at times, those faces can be made. So, yeah, that's my I, arts. Yeah, I agree because I think that there were a lot of moments where the art was super, super clean and looked awesome, but it was whenever somebody needed to look badass or terrifying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like those were the moments when there was a lot of detail involved. Um, I think that the first chapter specifically, the art was not great at all, especially in the face shapes. The face shapes were super weird. Yeah. Um, but by the point like where we are now, it's cleaned up a lot. Huh. Yeah. Especially in the um, the Zero chapter as well. Yeah. Zero that chapter was so bad. bad. It was so, so bad. bad. I was like, I, I was just like, why? How did this get picked up? I know. Ooh. That's what I thought too. I was like, this looks gross. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that he was very consistent in drawing Baby Bill. It's not penis that is everywhere. Hard. Little, yeah, little he's such a penis tough. all over Oga's face. Baby penis is all over the place. He probably like copy and pasted little Goku's penis on that. <laughs> it did look very similar, yeah. Although it's not that hard to draw. <laughs> to be fair, I, 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 I would say you know, something like, like all baby penises look the same, but I haven't <laughs> seen that many baby penises. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Google sure. search it. You'll go on a no, list. I'm positive. No, we're not endorsing that. <laughs> Yoku, what were your thoughts on the art? Did you already talk? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't talk yet. Talk, uh, speak. I think, I think that Bilzebub is better than Nisekoi. Um, just want to say, because I, I have Nisekoi in the mind now, and I just I just remember how much I didn't like Nisekoi. Uh, but when it comes to okay. Bilzebub... Can, can I, just say, I just say, they're like two different... Genres. No, nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nisekoi sucks. Uh, but uh, you don't have the patience for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. But when it comes to Billy Bob's art, like I, I honestly don't remember the 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 regular parts. Like there's so many moments where it has that you know epic emphasized moment or all those comedy moments that they try to you know, uh, but. That I just don't remember the the non epic comedy moments how it was how it was drawn. I just remember it was it was clean looking. Like there wasn't no moment where I was like, what, what's going on? I can't I can't see. What's I, it was it was clean. It was understandable. And all I remember really is all those like faces and epic moments. Uh, and that part with when uh uh fight what's his name Joe Joe Joto Joto I forgot his name Joto. Jojo? Tojo. <laughs> the other way around. Tojo. Jojo. Too much Pokemon. Too much Pokemon. Yeah, Jojo. Okay, Tojo. Uh, that part when he just after after he gives the baby back to uh, to Oga and Oga puts him down and everything and, and Tojo just looks like he's having like a heart attack. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
And I thought it was hilarious. It was so freaking funny. And the fact that he wasn't afraid to get super duper weird. The manga wasn't afraid to get super weird with it. I have to yeah. appreciate it. I, I just have to enjoy. I can't <laughs> deny weirdness and hate on weirdness. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Cool. Yoku's too busy drinking. Chug and burr. Chug and the burr. Chug, chug and beer. that burr. Beer. Um, I can go next. Yeah. No. Uh... See, I love this manga, but I don't think it's incredible. Like, it's just fun, you know? Wait, 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 Dodger, Dodger, Dodger. Yes. Dodger, wait. Don't rate it from, like, all the parts that you read. Try but that's what I'm trying to do. I, I yeah, so I'm like, I think I'm going to... That's the most interesting part, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to give it an 8.5. Damn. Um, it has his face! Damn. Damn! Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it an 8.5, because, again, I... I don't think that it's like an incredible manga, but I think that it's just fun. super fun. And I, I really love reading it. It puts me in a good mood. Um, and the characters are great. And uh, I know that cool things are to come. So. Spoiler. Oh. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Later. Oh, dang it. I'm out. <laughs> good luck. You'll get there someday. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Bazzy, you can go next. Oh, I'm gone. Uh, <laughs> um, you did it. Yay. Like like Dodger. Like Dodger. Like, like like I um I don't think it's an amazing like amazingly done manga. I love it. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It's funny as hell. And my enjoyment rating is definitely would be a nine point five. Oh fudge! No. My enjoyment rating would definitely be a 9.5. Fudge, man. My enjoyment. <laughs> Fudge. <laughs> Music. Fudge. <laughs> um, but on the other hand, uh, I think the critical rating would definitely be around like a 7.5. Uh, 7, point, 7 to 7.5, I think. Mm -hmm. And I, I would definitely say, though, that it's fun as hell. And I'm giving it a 7.5 mainly because I'm giving it room to get better as well. So. That's fair. Nice. And it's Fudge. it's way better than average, but it's not amazing, amazing. So. Yeah. Fudge, man. What? <laughs> That's exactly my ratings. It's fun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. What is happening to you? I'm what is that? that? All right, what? Yoku, what's your rating? <laughs> I also give it a 7.5. Uh, as a critical rating for this one, I have to do critical because, like, for for mangas like this that I enjoy so much, I know yeah. it's not like the best shit. I can't give it a, like a nine or ten. I can't because it's yeah. it's not a nine or a ten, like yeah. quality wise. But it's so damn fun. It's so like it, it's hard to put down. That's one of those mangas. So for uh, critical rating, seven point five. I think I think that's fair. And like Daza said. It needs some room to grow. This is only the first four volumes. There's like 200 plus chapters, right? Yeah. Something like that. And we only read 34. I read like 37. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to read more. But a 9.5 is probably on my enjoyment level. But oh, I don't nice. think I don't think I don't think I'm going to it's going to go up any higher or it's going to get any lower if it continues like this, because like it, it hit the peak when uh, when Tojo Tojo or Jo Jo Joto or what? Tojo. <laughs> jo Joto Tojo. Big Tojo. Tojo. Jo Tojo. When Toe showed up, uh huh. Uh, that kind of hit me. I think I think I was enjoying it at like an eight, my enjoyment <clears throat> level, until he showed up, and I was just like, oh, this guy's awesome. He's just like Og Oga, except except he has like a kind heart. Uh, so that was great. So I think that's pretty fair, especially since uh, it's probably gonna get better, as Dodger says. Yeah. Unless she's lying. She's probably lying. So, liar. Look at her face. Liar. Look at that. Look at that. Face, That's the face, face of a liar. Face of a liar. That's the face I make to girls when I want to have sex with them. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to a, bust this out. It's like face. It's like you make it. It only works on girls, though. Can I get your number? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I like <Please. let> out. <laughs> you gotta wiggle a little bit. <laughs> For effect. Please! <laughs> it's like you're just peeing yourself. <laughs> There's like this urine. It's like wet spot. Oh. 
How did this get to that? What's up with this? I don't know, but that's gonna be a gif on Tumblr soon. Fudge, man. Fudge! Oh, what a good day. What a great manga fudge! What a great manga fudge! So that is it for our discussion of Belzebub. We we all believe that you should definitely go and at least check it out. And it's yeah. just all sorts of fun. It is a very fun manga to read. And so we believe that you should check it out. And we look forward to reading more than I don't think we're going to be reading for at least another six months. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. It's sad. It's all good. Oh, well. but, I'm probably gonna ca- I'm going to catch up to it, though. I know. I, I want to go and read it now. Um, So uh, this week uh, is our... Uh, what? Uh, what? I, I'm, I'm going to go into the... The, the, the that's a description. The next that's week. what I she was know. about to lead into. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Next week we don't have an episode, right? <laughs> you ruined it, Yoki. We all, we did not coordinate that at all. What the hell, man? You guys left me out. So <laughs> no. Why'd you leave we me all, out? None of us talked about it, and then we were all were going to do it a different way, and then we all couldn't, like, stop each other from doing it their own way, and this is why we're having fun. David, get out of the chat! You my name! <laughs> You're oh. not making it any better, David. <laughs> Oops. <coughs> Alright, next week we are reading nothing. Good. Okay. <laughs> and, Dazza, do you want to go? What's the description, Daza? <laughs> crank that still... manga pod, yo. No. I still... Was that What's... it? Didn't crank with that ma- manga, yo. Oh, that's... I you did this. not... You did... You know, you should have read that as it's written, which I believe is in all caps. <laughs> okay, all right. You have to scream it at the top of your lungs. <clears throat> I'll just turn my mic down a little bit. Oh, no, I can't turn it down any further. Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. Get it crank with that man pod, yo! There we go. Yo! 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 A Monday, Monday for Pacific Standard Time. Same time, 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, <laughs> wait, what did I just say? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, it was just chugging here. It's like, Getting ready. <laughs> prepared. I'm gonna be crunk now. I'm gonna be crunk dead. All right, all right, we gotta, we gotta discuss. Okay, what? what's the liquids that we're... Oh, I don't know. No, we gotta bring we gotta bring our drinks and then explain our drinks on the day. Yeah. No, okay, uh, okay well, like a whole back or why oh. we chose it. Oh man, I have to put more thought into mine. Shit. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Mine's just like you just have all this. different beers. <laughs> See, you guys have it like really good because you have like all day to drink. I'm gonna wake up and like start drinking at midday. Oh no, I'm gonna start <laughs> drinking. I have to be drunk by two o'clock. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be sober <laughs> as hell, man. I'm gonna be hold sober on. as hell. No, when we start. I think that's. Hold on, I think that's December thirty first for me. Hold on, hold on. Let me just check my calendar. Actually, no, I'm gonna be like probably like with a hangover though. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. You're gonna be so drunk from the night. Like you're just gonna still be drunk from the night before. Just I'll just, I'll have to like have my webcam like this and I'll just do it. It's gonna yes. be so good! <laughs> yes, Gaza? It's gonna be New Year's Eve, so I can get drunk like all day and be drunk <laughs> all night and then be drunk all day again. There we go. Perfect. I'm See, definitely not working uh, next day. That's fantastic. Sure. Oh gosh, it's gonna be so fantastic, so y'all should definitely join us for that. It's gonna be great. We don't know we what still, all we're gonna do. Yeah, but we, it's don't, be we don't know what we're us. gonna do. Probably but, just re like just talking about our happy moments from the. We year. said we said before that we're gonna read our fan fictions. Where we oh, we'll read our fan fictions. So if you guys want to write any uh, modified fan fictions, send those. And in. we'll acknowledge the school. chat. We'll Sorry. probably acknowledge the chat a bit more as well. Like yeah, probably... we'll do some chat talk. It'll be a party. It's gonna be a more, party. More interactive. Yeah, party. And make sure each each host has to make sure they have someone there to protect them so they don't get too drunk <laughs> and pass <laughs> out. Yeah. We, we, need someone, we, we need someone to protect if they pass out on stream. <laughs> and right, like, we're literally right, just gone. On their I'm gonna have my brother <laughs> sit by me on standby, like two feet away, just in case. I'm, I'm not. He's gonna be like, what, what are you guys doing? <laughs> He's like one of those people that doesn't know what the internet is too well. <laughs> what? This, is, this would be very weird to him. I my friends on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> we <talk> about penises. <laughs> um. <laughs> 
No, so we don't. Moving on, moving on <laughs> from that. <laughs> okay, penises. Moving on to little boy penises. Uh huh. <laughs> so next week we will not have a manga pod. Week after that, is getting crunk with that manga wah ha ha pod. And then yep, January sure. 7th, we return to our regular schedule programming and we are going to be reading haiku. Haiku? Ooh. Haiku? Uh, chapters haiku. 0 through 36. If fun you... fact! Fun fact! I think that is the chat. I think that haiku. Haiku? Haku, Haku Show. Uh, I think that is the manga that Aaron like. That's the first manga she mentioned when we like started it talking was, about the manga. Pod. It was like yeah. that, That's the first thing she wanted to read, but we like. It was a fun fact, Yoku. That bad. is a very fun fact. I, why I was I getting ready to like piss on that, but I'm like, no, no, it's actually a really good fact. <laughs> Yo, why do I? Why do I remember that though? That's pretty crazy. It's like that was, like, a weird. It was. You weirdo, Yoku. Weirdo. I love Yoku. You so weird. So yeah. <laughs> We'll be reading IQ chapters 0 to 34. Um, if you guys would like to see any of our future schedule, then you can go to our subreddit, which is reddit.com slash r slash manga pod. Um, Dazza, will you, are you going to write that in the chat? I was going to link the next next schedule. Oh, perfect. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Schedule and then, and then, and then uh, manga pod. Yeah. Reddit. So you guys can go and check that out. There's also a thread for you to leave recommendations for any future manga, spawn mangas we could read on Manga Pod. Um, I have. Let's shout out our stuff. Yes. I was gonna say, make sure you read the rules of that thread, though, because yeah. I will ban people. Yeah, make sure you read the rules. You guys don't have to worry. I won't ban anyone. Neither will. I'm the evil one right up. I'm the only one who does shit on there. <laughs> Hey, I go I on there every now and then to see if there are new gifts. And that's I it. still, I still just go on Reddit just to look up Jennifer Lawrence, and I think it's been like a year since I've been. Your wife. Your wife. Oh. Um. Yeah. Let's shout out our stuff super quick. Yeah. And then we will say goodbye. Ugh. I am Aaron of YouTube.com/slash well, whatever I said you earlier. YouTube.com/slash Dead, Deadly Aaron. Deadly Aaron. Don't actually look that up. I wonder if that's taken. It is now. <laughs> um, her her actual YouTube channel is the one that's written on the overlay. <laughs> yeah, if you could look at that. <laughs> but you can also find me as Happily Aaron. Oh, on my channel, I do anime reviews, anime first impressions, Kuroko no Basuke episode reviews most of the time, though sometimes when I take a week off, Dazza does one for me in my stead, and he does fantastic impression of me, if you want to go check that out. Um, and all the previous Lincoln manga pods. Lincoln, Lincoln, the chat. All previous manga pods are also hosted on my channel, and um, I also do mental health awareness stuff, and if you would like, I'm part of 12 Days of Anime right now, so I have been posting those videos, so definitely go and check those out. If you'd like to find me on any other social media site, YouTube, whatever, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, all of that stuff is happily Aaron. so make sure to follow me on that, and <coughs> just tweet at me and talk to me and stuff. I love talking to you guys, especially if you tweet at me and Otter. I'll reply it if it's an otter or a Kuroko. Or both. I haven't had both yet. Okay, I'm done. I'll Karater. search for that. I'll search for that. I'll search for that. Oh, Otter Roko. Audible Yoku. Yo, no, not Yoku. What? Leave me out of this, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say Kuroko, not Yoku. Okay, um, I am Dodger of YouTube.com slash press hard to continue where I do gaming stuff and YouTube.com slash dexterity bonus where I drink coffee and talk to my cats for 10 minutes at a time. So come hang out with me at either of those places. And Excellent. you can find me on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter and other stuffs, other socially stuffs at Dexbonus, D E X B O N U S. Beautiful. Thanks. That's Aud me. Audible Yoku. <clears throat> okay. My favorite part. I hate this part. I hate this part. Okay, it's. Uh, you have to do it now. You have to do it. My YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Yokurama Game Talk, where I do not talk about games, I talk <laughs> about anime. But. I do want to talk more about games, so I might be making uh, a, a gaming channel eventually. I do kind of have one right now, but it's dead. It's very dead. So I do want to do that, so that's a little heads up. Uh, and uh, I've actually started making videos again on Yokurama Game Talk. Where I, I talk about It's not about games. It's about anime. And it is also the 12 Days of Anime, what is Aaron is doing and uh, Daz is hosting. So it's great. It's been fun. I've been having a lot of fun. Day 5 is tomorrow. I can't wait to post it. I need to still edit it. But for all the people here, I'll give you a little hint since, you know, exclusive hint. Doing Ooh. GTO. Great teacher Onizuka tomorrow. Heck oh. yeah, man. 
Oni Zuka for the win. That's it's gonna be great. I even have like a link to post for the. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be crazy! Those, those links! It's gonna be crook, yo! Those links! Other places you can find me, another YouTube channel, Yokurama News. That's the name of the channel where I haven't posted anything in a very long time. But with the new season starting very soon, I'll be posting a ton of videos. So look forward to that if you want to know what anime to check out, or at least know my opinion of those anime. And on Twitter, you can find me at Yokurama Talks. On Tumblr, you can find me just at Yokurama. And I think pretty much everywhere else, it's just Yokurama. If that doesn't work, check out Yokurama Talks. You can probably, that's probably my other one. I don't know. It's crazy. I should have I should have been smart like like these guys, girls. I mean. You can call <laughs> us guys. Girls. Yorkie. That's what else. Guys, girls. Yorkie. Guys, girls? No. Gal gals. <laughs> you, you have anime, you have an uh, anime talk, don't you? That's when you should post game stuff. Oh, shit, dude. That anime talk channel, that's like my... One of my first channels. That's not my. I first. know. You should post. You first. That's game like stuff. videos. No, from like five years no. Ago. You should put game stuff on Yokorama Russian. Yes. You should download the Russian version of games. It <laughs> <laughs> is the English you know, version. Do you know there's there's <laughs> like, I should, I'm gonna do let's plays of games, but in Russian. There's there's actually like all these all these games. They actually have high budgets in Russia where they translate them with all these Russian voice actors. It's really great. I've played a couple. Like Portal Two in Russian is more funny, funnier than <laughs> more than funny. The <laughs> more funny. See, that's how you know it's Russian because it's more funny, not it's funnier. More funny. <laughs> it's more funny. I will warn you, gaming is kind of a shit show right now because of copyright claims. Uh, uh, but so is anime so review. Yeah, oh, no, I'm I, sure. I, I'm sure. No. Oh, and also I bought a Vita today. <laughs> He's not gonna game on that. But buy Persona. <laughs> buy Persona for yeah, gold. So golden is I'm gonna order that like probably after this actually. Do it. It's great. Anyway, uh, hi, I'm Doc Dazza from Fire and Nippon. You can find me on youtubecom slash Uh It's it's just where I do anime stuff, like anime videos. It's fantastic and grand. And at the moment, we're doing daily twelve days of anime. With all my stuff is all scheduled up till Friday. No, yeah, Friday. So yeah. I can take a break tomorrow. Nice. It's gonna be fantastic. I wish that was my life. <laughs> I worked so hard yesterday. I didn't sleep. Good. Aww. Um, so that's fantastic. I also do uh, anime reviews on there. I did a, a review of Kuroko, like Aaron said, and it was fun balls. And I also do What We've Watched, a weekly show where we talk about what we watched in the last week. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and, Perfect. Uh, and I also got a second channel, which is uh, youtube.com slash thedoctordazza, which is now linked. Awesome. And I do other stuff on there. I'm not sure. I'm going to do different stuff in 2014. So stay you're tuned. like light from from Death Note. Linked, like all the <laughs> like epic <laughs> click enter. So I had it ready. So awesome. Yes. <laughs> awesome. You can so find you guys... me on Twitter at oh, Doctor Dazzle. You can find me on Hummingbird Doctor Dazzle. You can find me on everything else Doctor Dazzle. Yay! Yay! We did so it. Sweet. Sorry, Dazzle. I didn't mean to cut you off. How I dare got... you, Aaron? I got confused. I got confused. <laughs> so yes, that is it for our manga pod of Belzebub Zabub Bub Bub. Bub the Bell. Belzebub. Catch us in two weeks for getting crunk with that manga wonka hump a hump pod. Thirtieth on the thirtieth. On the thirtieth, which is a Monday, we will tweet it out. You have to keep doing that until we sign out, just so you know. So we will tweet it out the dates and such as a reminder. Thank you all so much for joining us, especially if this was your first manga pod. We really appreciate you guys watching and joining us for chat and stuff. Uh, have a fantastic day, and we will talk to you later. Bye bye. Don't end it. Just don't end it. Let her give us the feels in the bed. Feels in the bed. This guy have like sex in the morning. Feels in the bed. Feels in the bed. Feels in the bed. Feels in the bed. Okay, just end it.